Look at that mess of bed. <gasps> no way. <laughs> How are we going to get rid of the bird? Hello everyone and welcome back to CoolCapeTravel.com for fun and informative travel videos. We are back at Jurassic Park, also known as the Birds of Eden. And I'm standing next to the guy who built it all. His name is Tony Blichnout. Hi there, hi and welcome, welcome. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome back to the largest single dome free flight aviary on the entire planet. This magnificent facility has been providing a safe haven and sanctuary to unwanted, lost and injured birds from the pet industry since 2005. Since our first video about it went viral, we are back to give you a behind the scenes tour and show you how this terrific bird refuge was constructed. This big hold mesh is an example of the original mesh that was used but it started to rust and was replaced by a stainless steel knit mesh that was 80 tons lighter weighing only 8 tons in total it's woven just like a stocking almost oh, it is yeah okay quite amazing eh? this is a disinfecting a sanitizing foot mat that all guests have to walk across before they enter to prevent invasive species and animal diseases from entering the aviary so normally we have a, a chain <laughs> to walk through but with COVID, you know we can't have everybody yeah. touching the chain so it's kind of held up there okay yeah so that was basically to stop birds flying in all right Oh, you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, now you're inside. Whoa! <laughs> now you're inside. Um, you can see it's quite a big structure and a lot of flight, flight room and a lot of birds in free flight here. Now these were all pets. Pets? Pets. The, yeah, they were African oh, grade. Oh, really? They're all pets. And then people just... They bring them here because, let's say, um, the parents died and it was a parents of pets. Oh, and, okay. uh, they don't want to go to a pet shop. Please come say hi. But <laughs> 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 oh, this one? Yeah. He's <laughs> right in my ear here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this. Here's a blue McCall. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. <laughs> So that's a bit easier, but then another one, I just it. So, are oh, they also pictures? There you go, it's an African grey fine. Wow. Big um, Indian ring necks. So, yeah, another African grey fine. Your so, ear, man. This is like a whole... Ground for them. It's kind of like being in the wild. Yeah. yeah okay. And they can fly. It's not being in a cage where you're like locked up in a little confined area. Yeah, and, and we have um, spoon balls coming like the uh, spine. Uh, violet. Yeah. So the first one's purple crescent and the violet with the yellow. The Nisna always has the white on top of the eye, the white below the eye, and the white comb on top. Oh, okay. And the only difference with the living sin is he looks like he didn't brush his hair. You know, it stands oh, out. Right. spiky. It's also a Nisna Lurie. This is a ring neck parakeet, also known as the poor man's parry. Oh, okay. Um, there's another blue one there, they come in various colors. That's a very common bird that people drop off here with us. Oh, really? Okay. And that's a blow daker. That's a, a gray daker. No, blow daker. Blow daker. Blow daker. Blow daker. The females are actually much cleverer than the boys. You'll see it very clearly in mating season. The boys will be chasing the girl and when she's had enough of it, she just jumps up there. Yeah. And they still run around here looking for it. So it is a happy place. I mean, yes. all these birds that came here came from worse conditions, you know, like um, zoos, breeders, laboratories, yeah. all over, all sorts of... Tony didn't bring big bulldozers and machines in to build this place. They were dug by hand. Yeah. So we, dug, we built this all in the air, basically. So. The, only the guy who dug the hole by hand would go down. Once we'd put the pole in, the concrete was passed down from the walkway that you'd already built, and then we would carry on to the next one. I actually built Birds of Eden for for monkeys because what happened is I had um, I'm passionate about monkeys, and I had um, a whole lot of miniature monkeys that were saved from laboratories. But I mean, uh, the owls and the eagles were like all queuing up there saying, "Release them! Release them!" <laughs> 
So um, I thought, no, it's not going to work. And, you know, if you have a McDonald's and you open another McDonald's next to it, all you're doing is you're splitting the customers and doubling the overheads. So I couldn't open another monkey land for miniature monkeys. Yeah. So I opened a bird park. And Still yourself and look. You're going to miss so much. Yeah, look for movements of any kind. And if you see something move, it's... Chances that it's a leaf, it's not good. Oh, is it? Oops. They make their own nests, you know, with what's here. We, we start off, we put nesting boxes up. Mm -hmm. There's a nesting box in that tower, that green... Yeah. Yeah. They were just in case they don't know how to make a nest. But now they've all there. Mm. Where are they, the nests? Yeah, in, in, they hollow it out. Oh, in this tree. Like there, and there's another one at the oh, bottom. Oh, yeah, that's literally they, white. They make a hole in the tree, and the woodpeckers as well. There. Yeah. Yeah, good They have Sure. Hey, I don't know if you can see this. It's a little bit here. It's quite a lot of... Um, Evaporation happening. This year, that's what the uh, long, the long Oh, yes. Yeah. And you know, the, the fruit is really It used to be a very big. This paper is cold. Yeah. So it's really interesting the way that Tony laid out the path because. You loop it all the time and then you get from one type of zone to another. If you go to any bird park in the world, I don't care what, which one it is, you'll find they've got a rat problem. Oh, it, it, it was a wrong mm. bird park. I've seen big rats and it fell. No, I wouldn't for. mention your name, but uh, any okay. bird park. Yeah. But you won't see a rat here. Yeah. No, okay. Because we, we, our hygiene program, we pick up the food. You know, it's a little bit more labor intensive. Yeah, yeah. But, and we we want to keep our birds as healthy as possible. So. Mm. Yeah, these red and black ones there. Oh, oh, barbets, oh, now I got them. We uh, stopped using the amphitheater for uh, events and things. Because one stage, a couple of parrots lived here that um, were very territorial. So oh. <laughs> Bomb dive people if they were, but they moved now. They look at that mess of bed. Oh, no way. <laughs> you had them wide open. He's yeah, opening them yeah. up again. Look at that. That is That's insane. Green historic. <laughs> That's a Malaysian fruit bed. Flying fox. Flying fox. Oh. They must be having the time of their life. Look at that. That's really cute. <laughs> Happy birds. that the forest reshapes itself every time we've had a storm or a tree fall over. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> and do everything together and they've got another friend like the third wheel who sometimes comes to visit them. But the, 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 these two love each other. So they come and, take you and wherever you see them, they're they, 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 they,
Trying to see it now. Oh, there it is. A J J A Y. J A Y. Yeah, J A Y. It's an electric bike. The female is a different color. Okay, I saw another one here. The female is red. Uh, the beat is why we use the narrow strip here. There's a blow crown spool on there. Oh, it's a blow crown spool. Yeah, the crest of crown down there. Crown crown down there. Under the feeding station. And uh, see, these are juvenile ibises. As far as ibises, they don't have those full colours. What do you call those white birds in that tree over there? Cattle egrets. Oh, what? Sorry? Egrets. Egrets. Cattle egrets. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a money shot. Yeah. There's a dam here. This is a dam. It's part of the the thing, and then the other side is a lung of, of like um like a wetland. Okay. Big, big, two hectares. So it jumps into that. It goes through that, flows through that. And... So we regularly check the water here. Yeah, we like It's the easiest way to explain our ugly door. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, we, we just got so sick of putting new doors and every time you put a door in, I mean, it's got <laughs> two holes in it the next day. Yeah, I get no painful or no. No. anything more. And it's still in the 